first time ever fishing in South Africa. Cam, do you mind just holding this real quick? We're gonna pull the fish up. What's up everyone, Kieran Anderson here, and today we are in South Africa and we are gonna learn how to fish from the shores here. This is my first time ever fishing here. Um, went over, we just drove like literally two hours to check the waves. There's no waves. So we went to this place and the people were super cool there and uh, they hooked me up with some fishing gear. It is ridiculously cheap here, which is insane. And I was so stoked to be able to get this stuff. So we're gonna start getting it set up. This rod is literally 14 feet. This is the biggest spinning reel I've ever seen in my life. And I got a bunch of tackle. So let's uh, let's pull this thing out and see what it looks like. I'm not kidding, I haven't even looked at the rod or the reel yet. I, well, I saw the reel for about two seconds. Rod I haven't seen yet. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how thick this thing is, dude. Oh my gosh. Don't even know what this is for. Let's see what we got here, guys. This is pretty sick. I'm pretty stoked to be doing this. And I'm really thinking we're gonna catch some fish. I don't know what kind of fish. I was looking up online <clears throat> what kind of fish there are and you know what kind of bait they're using and stuff. And I went into the tackle store and I just said, hey, what, what should I be getting? What should I be using? They just said squid and gave me some random lures and stuff like that. And they said, this will do the trick. Oh my <laughs> dude. Is that not the biggest fishing rod you've ever seen in your life, dude? This thing's nuts. All right. Through the bottom, through the top. This line is really thick, by the way. Wet it a little bit, all the way down. That's the first step. Now, I did buy a little knife. I'm just gonna cut off this excess without trying to hurt myself. There we go. That's done, and the knife is away. I like to keep a little bit of tension on this. Sometimes you can just throw the, the line through the top or the first little eye, but the problem is, is this is so high up that it's almost easier just to hold it like this. The line's kind of just moving around because I have nothing. Usually you can put a screwdriver through it. I'm telling you, this is last minute hunky stuff that I'm doing, you guys. I don't even know if I got enough line, to be honest with you. Uh, probably put about 20 yards on. We're gonna put, I'm gonna spool this thing all the way up. Because if we do get a shark or something big, I want all the line possible. Okay, I'd say that's enough line. Oh, that was a workout. This rod is literally bigger than anything I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It reaches up to the second story. So, um, I guess, we figure out what to use. So come over here, you guys. I got swivels. Um, I've got some jigs and jig heads. The guy said the pink and orange are really going off the charts right now. Oh, I got this thing, dude. This thing's so sick, 40 gram. Um, but this rod is so big, it might be kind of hard to throw that thing out there. We'll see. But um, I'm gonna bring all this stuff down to the beach. I'm gonna grab my friends and we're gonna get to the beach and start fishing. Uh, that was the quick and down and dirty on how to set up this rod. Like I said, this is the biggest rod I've ever had and the first time ever fishing here. So let's get over and start fishing. Go windy right now, guys. This is the kind of weather that I froth up on to go fish. and I'm gonna huck this thing as far out as I can right now. And we're just gonna cruise. So, I'm gonna go with hooks. This is the weirdest weight I've ever seen. We're gonna do one of those. Or, Cameron, do I do this? That way, we can probably get it out of the rocks. For around here? For sure. Okay. I put on a big piece of squid a really big bait. 
for a big, big wave, and I'm gonna walk these rocks and cast this thing as far as I can right now. Go for two. Well, Show them where we started. Way over there. So th basically what happens is this thing, I guess, goes into the sand like this and it digs, allowing this, my bait, just to cruise. I'm gonna grab another piece of Kentucky fried chicken or whatever you call this stuff. So basically right now I'm just baiting the fish up. I like to go through, through again. This is actually what I do in California too, so. I'm gonna go cast this thing and I'll be back in a second. Go super far. We have a fish on, and I don't know exactly what's on here, but um, it is really heavy. Right here. Come over here, come over here. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's a shovel nose, dude. It's a shovel nose. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Let me get this thing dialed. It's first time ever fishing in South Africa. Cam, do you mind just holding this real quick? We're gonna pull the fish up. Let me see the tip of the rod. Come on into the water, guys. I don't want to mess this, this uh, fish up. This is called a shovel nose shark. Look how pretty the spots on the back are. Amazing, amazing creature, seriously. Holy smokes. Oh, we barely got him, which is great. And we got our bait safe. I'm gonna literally just pop this guy right here. One of these maneuvers. We're gonna let him go. And he's just gonna swim right back off. Look at him, look at him right here in the water, guys. Look at him right here. He just, just blends in, just fully blends in, he's gone. Woo! First fish of the day, what a catch. I'm psyched right now. Dude, that was sick. I haven't caught one of those in so long. Oh, no way, eating the Oh, they're eating the bait. Oh, they're eating the bait, dude. What, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the bait we used last, last uh, on that shovel nose, and now, we're actually giving back to the environment. They're little sea slugs. And they're just gonna eat this thing, dude. They're, they're sucking down on the squid. That's rad. That's super cool. That's great to see. It's great to see the hospitality of these, uh, of the, the squid providing the hospitality to these sea crabs here, you know? 